study at Hope because I really love this city. I think it's got incredible culture. It's got a real kind of like vivid art community that I just wanted to be a part of. I mean, you know, obviously I'm from London and to be honest, we do hear a lot about Liverpool's art history, not mentioning the very famous band. My first impression of Hope when I came here was uh, actually the creative campus and I was really in, uh, impressed by the architecture of it because you walk in and it's immediately, you can just tell that a lot of sort of like, you know, thought has gone into the student experience, which I thought was so key. And uh, it was just really reflected in the environment. My favourite moment or experience at Hope University, I think, has to be when we were working together as teams on group projects because I know everyone gets a little bit terrified or sort of like daunted by the idea, but it was fantastic sort of like being given a research topic. So mine was John Berger, um, who's a philosopher and, you know, art critic, so right up my alley. And we had to research and show, you know, the other students what we found. And I found it was just an incredible experience to get other people's perspective on things and just, you know, really kind of like form your own identity in your interactions with other people. It was really good. I think for second year is when they really got into this idea of how are we going to turn this into a career. So, you know, it's one thing to be theoretical at, you know, at university and it's another thing to actually be able to apply this. So one thing that Hope are really good at is sort of like equipping you with the ability to apply it to, say, going into a job as a curator or getting exhibitions together or just being a fine artist. Uh, I really enjoyed this section, but we're looking at the philosophy of art. So we're looking at aesthetics and we're looking at, you know, what does it mean for something to be beautiful? Is it even important in today's artwork? So it's really fascinating stuff, yeah. Well, there's been really, really good interactions between the students and tutors. Uh, I think they really sort of like take on board that, you know, this is something that we're going to need to apply to the outside world. So there's a lot of one-to-one -one sessions, tutorials are very small, so in my tutor group for my second year there are only four students. So it really felt like you got to know the uh, tutor, which I'm incredibly grateful for. So I think, you know, overall they've really sort of like taken the time to get to know all the students personally and know how best to sort of like help that individual student to where they want to go in the future. I want to do a master's in art therapy because um, philosophy has taught me a lot about morality and a lot about sort of like uh, what you as an individual contribute to the wider society but also of course I love art to bits and I've noticed that you know since the pandemic there's been such a need for mental health awareness and for you know sort of like people in vulnerable communities needing more mental health and so I thought if I could do something like art therapy which is more of a kind of like alternative art me uh, therapy method um, art history and philosophy would both enable me to sort of like, you know, help me get the experience, help me get the foundations and then hopefully in the future I could go on to do a master's in that. There's a real sort of like sense of community and I think that's something you can only really get with a small university like this. Of course, you know, it's not as big as some of, you know, the other universities, but in its own way it's got such incredible resources available. The libraries are huge, there's multiple libraries on every campus and, you know, even with you being able to get all that sort of like research, you're still sort of like at this very sort of down to earth experience with the lecturers. You know, you know what they're researching. They know you as an individual. They know what's going to help you. And they will kind of like change the lectures in a way that involves you in the discussion. And I think that's something that Hope is really good at providing.